When trading price action, you may think that your best indicators come from concepts such as your order blocks, market maker models, draws on liquidity, and so on. But there is one secret concept that is so simple that it links all of them together. And in this video, we will be covering that concept. So let's begin. At the end of the day, when you look at market maker models, order blocks, breaker blocks, draws on liquidity, etc., they are all based off your technical analysis, right? And the key thing with technical analysis is that it is based off of historic data, which means your technical analysis will always form from historic data, aka what the candles have shown already, and that will help determine the key points and the direction that the market is currently going in. So because it's based on historic data, your one and only effective, if not most effective indicator would always be waiting for more candles to print. Because like I said, technical analysis is solely based on historic data. So when candles print and close, that will provide you with more data to base your narrative and analysis on. And the benefit to this is not only will it help you choose more winning trades, but it will also prevent a large number of losing trades. So let's begin by seeing how you could utilize this in your trading. If we jump up onto the weekly here, if you look at current weekly market price action, you could clearly tell that this isn't a bearish scenario, right? Lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and lower lows. So what would you possibly expect? A lower high to possibly be implemented before another lower low, breaking out of this draw on liquidity. This is your overall draw on liquidity. However, on a weekly here, you currently have this, this kind of in the form of your bullish order block. And this is where it could act as a resistance for bearish price action, which means because it's acting as a resistance, this means we could anticipate some sort of a bullish reaction and ideally implement a lower high before continuing lower because your overall market structure is bearish. It's unlikely that in this bearish scenario, you are going to have a market reversal to take out one of these highs to become your market structure break or market structure shift before continuing higher. The reason being is because your weekly is bearish. There are no signs of a bullish market reversal yet. So because there are no signs yet, this is where you should just continue to catch the overall trend, which is bearish in the scenario. But as you're aware, this kind of So we could anticipate some sort of a bullish reaction and possibly a retracement. The key word here is anticipate. The reason being is because we are not sure of whether price is going to continue higher and have this level act as a resistance or not. You are never 100% sure in the market, which is why waiting for the market to give you more data in the form of more candles being printed is so powerful. Because when more candles print, it's giving you more data to solidify your anticipation of the market's direction. So here, if we jump down onto the daily now, there are three scenarios that present here. Price could just come back, rebalance one of these old inefficiencies, and that would be enough to then seek liquidity and then continue lower. That is your first scenario. Your second scenario, price could just continue higher, respecting discount rates, disrespecting premium rates, and then take out these overall drawn liquidity. Second scenario. Third scenario, this resistance doesn't really act like a resistance. It gives you a minor retracement before it just continues to expand lower. Those are your three scenarios, but based on this price action, there is no way you could be sure which one of those three scenarios are going to play out. And in this instance, the only thing you could do is wait for more candles to simply print. When more candles print, more historic data gets presented to you. And because you are using technical analysis, the more historic data that gets presented to you, the more clarity your market narrative becomes. So let's begin by playing price out. Here. You can see that it has a strong bullish candle and a bullish closure. The important thing here is your bullish closures. Because when a candle is forming, because this is the daily time frame, right? Remember, price is fractal. So the same thing I say on the daily will apply to the four hour all the way down to the five minute and beyond. But here, especially on your higher time frame candles, whilst it's forming, it could constantly switch from bearish to bullish to bearish. The reason being is because that is simply how your candle gets formed to create the wick and the body of the candles. So to ensure for the highest probability, you always want to wait for candles closures. But here, you have a bullish candle. That is giving you your reaction off of this resistance level in the form of your higher time frame bullish order block or your higher time frame discount array. And this is where I really want you guys to dissect these candles. Right now, there is still not enough information, right? Because price came back into this imbalance, 
and it's giving you a strong bearish candle. But then look at what you get here for the next candle. It's reacting off of this bullish order block on the daily time frame. So it is stuck between two premium and discount rates. Premium in the form of this imbalance and discount in the form of this bullish order block. What do you do here? Because it's stuck in a range and your third candle that gets printed gives you a bullish candle, that means that current market conditions are very low probability because there is no clear willingness for the markets to continue higher or continue lower. So again, what do you do? You simply just wait for more candles to print. Next candle gives you a bearish closure. Again, no willingness to displace higher or lower. And then you get that displacement. That is why waiting for more candles to print and utilizing the additional historic data that's given to you will always ensure you have the highest probability market narrative. Because here, imagine you took a trade off of this imbalance, right? Let's say you drop down onto your lower time frame, four hour for instance, yeah, your displacement there, and it gives you a clear market structure break. You enter off of there, stop loss above here, and you will target your next strong liquidity, 1.5R. But look, it takes you out because on the daily, that current market condition wasn't so clear. It was stuck between two discount and premium rates and the candles were constantly printing bullish, bearish, bullish, and then bearish. All you had to do was sit on your hands and wait for more candles to print and that would provide much more clarity. When this candle printed, look what it gives you. Market structure shift with a body closure past that swing high. It also has a full body closure past this imbalance. So before we waited for the five candles to print out, we were unsure of what scenarios were going to play out. But because we waited for these five candles to print, it gave you a much more better image of what scenario you are anticipating. And if you remember, this is the second scenario that could play out. Look at what price does. Comes back, respects this discount rate in the form of your bullish order block, and then it has a displacement higher, taking out this swing high with a full body closure that is a bullish candle. You could be more confident in price, giving you bullish market structure on the daily time frame and possibly taking out this draw on liquidity. But remember, your weekly is still bearish. So if price takes out this buy side liquidity, ideally it should only be seen as a sweep and we would not want to see a full body closure past this swing high. But nonetheless, that could still be used as your draw on liquidity because on the daily is giving you bullish market structure. More candles are being printed. The more candles, the better because it solidifies your market narrative, right? After these five candles printed, giving you a market structure shift, the next candles that print, you ideally want to see that respect discount rates and disrespect premium rates because you had a bullish market structure shift here. So where is your discount rates? You have this bullish order block. Down close candles should support price to go higher in a bullish scenario. Look what it does there comes into this discount rate. Ideally, it should stay protected. And it does so. And now you're simply just waiting for more candles to print and giving you that bullish market structure. Here, you have this discount rate now. Price comes into this imbalance. Now, whenever you are not confident in price holding, all you have to do is just wait for more candles to print. For beginners, when you see this bearish price action, such as these two bearish candles, on the lower time frame, it might look daunting, right? On the hourly, it's clearly bearish, rightfully so. But on the higher time frame, this was simply just into your imbalance. But that might still throw you off. So if it throws you off, wait for more candles to print. Next candle gives you a strong bullish candle. Body respects your imbalance and precisely the 50% level of the imbalance. So because that is the case, because you waited for another candle to print, you can have more confidence in this being your buy side liquidity and price to continue that bullish market structure. Because you are more confident now, this is where you could drill down onto your lower time frame, being your four hour. And look for this buy side liquidity to be your next strong liquidity. So here, if you keep paying price on the four hour, you have this imbalance. Remember, this was your daily imbalance level. And that is where we are getting that bullish reaction off of. The four hour gives you a market structure break. So your four hour is bullish, daily is bullish. This should ideally act like a magnet. Price comes down into this four hour imbalance, but look at what you get here. You get a slightly consolidated range, right? From here to this imbalance. Price is slightly consolidating from here. Because price is slightly consolidating from here, the question you need to ask yourself 
is whether this imbalance is going to hold or is going to retrace deeper into another discount rate, such as these bullish order blocks or this minor imbalance over here. Those are the scenarios you should always open up yourself to because on the daily, it's clear that we are bullish already. So your higher time frame direction is bullish. You are not looking to catch reversals to go bear from here. You are simply asking yourself which discount array is going to stay respected to support price higher and take out this buy side liquidity that should act like a magnet. Because that's the case, waiting for more historic data to print out to you is going to solidify which discount array is likely going to hold. So, as you can see here, we are still consolidating around here. These are the type of candles you want to wait for because it shows strong willingness to continue higher. This is showing you clear respect of this imbalance and you could anticipate for price to respect this imbalance before continuing higher. Because all these previous candles, right, they were weak, bearish or bullish candles. This one especially had a long wick on both sides. So it shows you uncertainty in price continuing higher or lower. With these candles, however, it gives you a strong bullish reaction. You can see that buyers were heavily overwhelming and any sellers in this scenario. And the reason why they are heavily overwhelming sellers is because this is a key level. They desperately want to move away from this level because it is a key level. So because that is the case, you could anticipate for this imbalance to hold. All you have to do is wait for more candles to print to show you certainty in what direction price is going to move to and which level is going to support price to go higher. In this scenario, it becomes this imbalance. So we will ignore these ones for now. This is where you could drill down onto your execution time frame. You can see here on the 15 minute, it's giving you strong bullish reactions. Discount arrays being respected, premium arrays being disrespected. So keep playing price up. Because of how large this range is, this is where you could draw the range and then look to enter in the discount of that range. Find matching PD arrays in that range, such as these discount arrays, right? Your bullish order blocks. Yeah, you could have an entry there. Stop loss below that swing low. And then you could look to target this draw for 2R or this immediate one hour draw. But this one hour draw, you can see, is relatively equal highs to this one. And this is simply, when this swing high here gets implemented, that just becomes your low resistance trendline liquidity. Buy side liquidity, this could be your next target. If price comes down into the discount of that range, taps us in and continues higher. So, Playing price up, it taps us in to that bullish order block. And what does the next candle show you? Heavy bullish reaction. So based on this historic data, you could be sure that this level is holding. Not only is it a discount array, but it is also in the discount of your overall range. Your 50 minute is bullish, your four hour is bullish, and your daily is bullish. Remember, it's reacting off of this key imbalance level. So with that in mind, this should be a completely solid trade. And if you keep playing price up, you can see it has no trouble displacing higher and taking out your overall draw on liquidity. And that is pretty much it for this video. It is an extremely simple, but very effective concept to utilize. All you simply have to do is be patient, wait for more historic data to print out to you because your technical analysis is solely based on your historic data. The more data you have, the higher probability your trades will be. The less data you have, the lower probability trades you will take, right? So always stay patient. Don't fear missing out because the markets will always be here and more opportunities will be presented to you. Your goal as a trader is to take the highest probability trades and preserve your capital because that is the only way you will be able to stay in this game for the long run, right? So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.